the latest drought map released Thursday morning is practically identical to the one the week before. The change is very minimal. That may be surprising considering how damp it's been this week, but it hasn't been what is needed to put a dent in the drought. We've had long, steady drizzle, fog, light mist, those kinds of things and not real rain. And what rain is falling is having little effect on low groundwater level. Most of the rain is coming in and it's flowing off very quickly. You know, some is penetrating, but most of it, a lot of it is flowing off. What is going on at Lake Winnipesaukee is typical of what is happening around the state. This shows the water level normally on an average year in red, how much precipitation we get. And then you can see down here how much we've actually got. Stratford County and the surrounding areas are in an extreme drought and are the areas of greatest concern. But every county in the state has been impacted to a degree, so the state's launched an emergency drought assistance program to help homeowners dealing with a dry well. To first get them bottled water, uh, so at least they have water to drink and to cook with, and then begin to work towards potentially helping the lowest income families to deepen their wells. And as officials look at the long range forecast, it looks like there is little help on the horizon. We're now increasingly uh, considering what a multi-year drought might look like. So we're studying uh, the drought of 65, 60, 64 to 66 was a multi-year drought. That was the last multi-year drought that the New Hampshire had. The state is not anticipating any change in the drought map next week either. So that's why they, it's important they stress for everyone to continue to conserve water. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.